Howdy, y'all. Today is February 3rd. The feed barn is going to be wondering what happened to me because two Saturdays ago, I wasn't able to make it over there because they closed at noon. I had something going on. And then today it's the same thing. So they're already closed. I had a wedding gig I had to play. So back at tractor supply and I'm going to pick up some chicken food. Probably only five bags just to make sure I start getting back to the feed mill. Got that done. Let's head out to the farm. Someone in here just tried to crow. I'd imagine it's probably one of the Marins, those uh, multi black and white birds, since they're just a little bit older than the Australorps. So I didn't order any roosters, but inevitably you're gonna get a couple. So we'll see who turns out to be the rooster here in a little while. video just does not do the sunset justice. That is so gorgeous. It's so nice to see the sun again. Now that it's getting dark out, I do want to put those three marins that were kind of getting picked on back into the pen with all their other friends. Their tails look great now. They're fully feathered. They look fine. So I'm going to slip them in at night. Hope the Larger flock doesn't mess with them too much. So nighttime is the best time to do that because they can all meet and greet for just a second, go to sleep, hopefully forget about the new members, wake up and everything's okay. That's the plan. 6.15 and it is still plenty bright out. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, chickens, you guys ready to go back with your friends? I think I found my answer to if that Americana rooster ever goes up at night. At least he's smart enough to get on top of the coop. He uses that grill on the side to hop up. Well, there is only one speckled Sussex in the nesting box. The nesting boxes have been staying pretty clean lately, so I wasn't too worried about them actually sleeping in the nesting boxes at night anymore. That piece of wood really helped but I just have to scrape it off every now and then so it doesn't get gross and gunked up. But I'm really happy to see that they are not sleeping in those nesting boxes. 6.30 and we are still plenty light out. We've gained nearly an hour of light since daylight savings, so that's been really nice. Good morning, everyone. Today is February 4th. Just sat down and Leia was the first one up on my lap. I figured it'd be the buffs that would come up first, especially Leia. That's why she has a name because she was so friendly. She's along with the purple band too. Can't really see it, how she's standing, but she's got one on. But she's always been a sweet bird, haven't you? Yeah. Just spending the morning with the chickens. Next up we have Sunny, kind of hiding on you there. Oh, YouTuber named her for me. She's also a really sweet bird. I'm being overrun by chickens pretty quick. We have a speckled Sussex that came up, which is pretty neat. And I think that's Frizzle, the other uh, buff that hopped up on me. Are you being sweet now? I haven't really spent much time just hanging out with the Sussex, uh, but definitely the buffs and Americanas have had a lot of attention. Howdy up. Today is February 5th. I am so happy to see bees out here. I came out, I don't know, three, four, five times after that Arctic blast and didn't see anything but dead bees. Didn't crack it open because it was too cold. So it's currently 51. I figured they'd be out. So I'm really happy to see a nice active colony here. Seeing a little bit of activity on this hive, which is good. Not as much going on, but thankfully there's still some bees. This is the colony I was a little more worried about because there were more dead bees just piled up and it looked kind of gross uh, on that screen bottom board in there. It was a little more clogged up than the other colony, but this is a good sign to see some bees. That makes me really happy to see that. I at least have my two colonies and there's bees flying around. I think this time last year, I'd only had that one colony and they had already died off sometime in 
January. So it's a good sign to see bees flying around two hives in February. I do have one Americana that was getting a little picked on. So I went ahead and separated her out before anything happened. This speck of Sussex is really wanting in there. But she'll be fine here in a couple days. I just want to make sure that nothing bad happens there. But everybody's doing good. Howdy y'all. Today is February 7th. Got a bunch of roosters following me. I lost a few of them back there. They're still eyeballing the ladies. But getting everything filled up. How you doing over here, chicken? It's so nice that she laid her egg right here so I didn't have to crawl all the way back. I don't see her food bowl, so she buried that, so I'll have to dig that out and uh, get her some more water. She might have knocked that over, but uh, so far she looks good. She at least has the roosters keeping her company. Howdy, yeah. Today is February 8th. It's currently 60 degrees, sunny. It feels really nice out. Slight breeze, but not bad. I'm going to go ahead and pop open the beehives today just to make sure the bees are doing all right. With warmer weather like this, the bees are going to go through a lot more food a lot more quickly. So I just want to make sure that they still have plenty in there. That way they can make it through the rest of the winter. And it looks like the bees are doing just fine in here. I'm going to go ahead and close them back up. This hive is looking really good, you guys. I love seeing that. We've got some decent activity going on with the mixed hive here. Not as much yet, but the sun's not quite fully on this hive just yet either, so they're not completely warmed up in there, but this is a pretty good sign. So I'm gonna crack them open and see what they're looking like. This hive hasn't done too much on the sugar board yet, which means they probably had some good resources which is really good to see. This uh, is a slightly larger hive. The other hive, the cedar hive, only has two deep boxes and they kind of had a late start and I was worried about them, but they're honestly looking fine. So this hive looks just fine. As a general rule of thumb, I don't like cracking the hives open unless it's above 55 degrees, but today is just a beautiful day to do it. 60 degrees, sunny, it's beautiful. The bees are out flying around, enjoying it, taking cleansing flights, and maybe even scavenging a little bit of stuff out there because, I mean, I have seen some dandelions. They might be bringing in a little bit of pollen or something. Probably not so much nectar at this point. Still uh, in the thick of winter, really. Just have a nice little warm spell here, but they're looking good. I'm really happy with both hives. In the short span of just driving out to the farm, we lost our sun, so that's kind of sad. I still plenty warm. Hey there, Rusty. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and you can go in. Work on chicken chores. Don't be digging up my flowers, Red Rider. Come on now, get out of there. Go on. Uh, so earlier in this week, yeah, now you can tell they've already kind of scattered it everywhere anyway. Have to fix it this spring. But anyways, um, earlier this week, I believe it was on Saturday, I had a friend write and say they had a bunch of cinder blocks, which are super handy because I use them for the beehives. This is a little chintzy setup, but all my other hive stands that have two cinder blocks on each corner. So I can easily set up two more hives with this. These shoes are getting crazy behind me. So thank you so much to my friend for offering this up. My dad and I went and loaded them up and brought them out. So thanks to my dad as well for helping load all these. But uh, I probably won't keep the bees here this year. It's just a little too shady with all the trees here. I thought it'd work out because you do get a little bit of sun coming through, but I don't think it was enough. So I'll probably wind up throwing the bees, you know, somewhere out there. But for now, uh, it's just really nice to have those cinder blocks. So that way we can hit spring running. Howdy, today is February 9th. It is absolutely gorgeous out. It's currently, I think, 65, sunny. There's a little breeze, but honestly, I could be in a t-shirt and be just as comfortable as a hoodie. So right now, I'm just working on chicken chores, getting them all done. The family's out today. We're working on getting a lot of seeds planted, mostly cold weather stuff. And my tomato seeds back home did start sprouting. Only the cherries so far, not the brandy wine, but they're coming along.
we're getting them loaded up. So we're doing a double cup system. The bottom one is just to help with drainage. We're basically just putting rock in there. So that way it just doesn't leak everywhere. So this will be the first thing that I am planting. And if you're wondering what $3 worth of seeds looks like, this is it. All right, y'all, it is about eight o'clock. It's good and dark out. I'm kind of interested to see uh, on the roosters who goes up at night and who doesn't. Uh, my mom's pulling around so we can see a little better and have some light, but we have speckled Sussex and French fry hanging out on top of the grill here. At least they're up. We've got the Americana rooster up here. I'm gonna have to put you guys down so I can use my light and check everything else out. All right, so I put French fry and speckled Sussex rooster up. Everyone else was in the coop besides Rusty and then Americana up on the coop. They're both on top of the coop. It's uh, up high enough, nothing's gonna climb up and get them, so I'm not worried about them. 